Hi, I'm Sue Sentence, Chief Learning Officer at the Raspberry Pi Foundation. So it's been one year exactly since the Department for Education announced the launch of the new National Centre for Computing Education. For those who don't know about the National Centre, £84 million was awarded by the Department for Education to create learning resources and training opportunities for every phase of schooling in computing. It's a virtual centre with school-led hubs around England providing support and resources for computing teachers in primary schools and secondary schools right up to A-level and it's being run by STEM Learning, Raspberry Pi Foundation and BCS. Our ultimate goal is to create a strong pipeline of young people who have the digital skills and in-depth understanding of computing and computer science to fully participate in an increasingly technologically driven world. And we're doing this by supporting the teachers who are crucial to our young people and their digital education. So focusing first on primary teachers, we are delighted that over 5,400 of you have joined our programme. Whether that was through engaging with one of our online courses, attending our face-to-face -face CPD sessions, participating in our community of practice, or engaging with our Barefoot Computing Programme, you have all helped us to get off to a flying start. We've achieved this number by running over 160 face-to-face -face training sessions and 132 community of practice events led by over 250 dedicated primary and secondary CAS community leaders. We've also published two primary focused online training courses and six primary units of work in our resource repository to help you deliver the computing national curriculum in your schools. We've also just launched our primary certification to help recognise the investment teachers are making to develop their own learning. We're really looking forward to lots of teachers working towards this certificate in the future. So let's meet Georgia Mercer. She's a Swindon-based primary school teacher, Barefoot Ambassador and CAS Community Leader. And she had this to say about our support for primary teachers. Over the last year, many primary schools within the Whitehorse Federation have benefited from and interacted with the NCCE. Many of our primary school teachers have attended the face-to-face -face CPD sessions through STEM learning and have acquired a lot of new skills as a result of this. We're supporting secondary school teachers in a number of different ways and the results have been brilliant. Our programme has reached 1,842 teachers in 1,391 schools. We've also been joined by 30 computing hub schools around the country who are busy getting up and running right now and will be ready to support you in the new year. We understand that not all of you are computing specialists, so we have already launched secondary units of work as part of our resource repository. We've made it our mission to reduce teacher workload. We also understand that not all of you can access training in school time, so we launched 14 new online courses which have trained nearly 600 teachers in 2019 alone. This has led to 215 of you achieving your National Centre for Computing Education Certificate in GCSE Subject Knowledge. Well done if you're one of those teachers. One of the many people who did complete the certificate is Leroy David, a teacher from Wolverhampton. He's given us some insights into his experiences on the programme. The National Centre for Computing Education has really supported me within my teaching. They've provided a range of online resources which I can use to develop my skills within different subject areas within computer science. They've also recently developed a repository which you can access to support you with teaching within Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. All these resources are really good because it just helps you within your teaching and it's stuff that you don't have to create yourself so it saves you time as well as helping to enhance your subject knowledge. Over 6,000 A-level computer science teachers and students have joined Isaac Computer Science, our new online learning platform. This amazing new resource offers a mixture of content pages and practice questions linked directly to A-level specifications and supports students gaining the best results they can in their examinations. In the last year, we've also run A-level workshops for over 350 students and teachers in Southampton, Cambridge, London, Bristol and Lancaster. And we'll continue to do this, extending the geographical reach of these events. Lee Willis, a teacher at North East Futures in Newcastle, has been using the Isaac Computer Science platform in his classroom with his students. 
and has seen promising results. I think what the students are really finding enjoyable about the Isaac platform is the consistency that it offers. It gives them a really good access to really high level materials across the wide breadth of the A-level course and it does that consistently too. I think what's also been really good about it is the specification links so they know exactly what they're learning and why they're learning it too. Our gender balance and computing team have already started the project's first trials at over 300 code clubs, primary schools and secondary schools around England. We expect the findings to be invaluable for helping schools to attract more girls to take computing subjects. We've now opened recruitment to all schools around England, so if you want to get involved, please contact us by following this link. And let's now meet Jo Hodge. She's a teacher at one of the schools that's running our first trials. I think it's important that we find out what is happening, why are these girls not taking it up. They need those role models. You need to have both gender role models. If you've just got lots of men doing it, then we're never going to change that perception. You've got to have a range of role models, men and women. Last but not least, we've secured some great partnerships in industry this year, with over 20 private sector companies giving us support through donations, providing subject knowledge, expertise and content, hosting events and amplifying our messages. We're also going to be working closely with the computing hubs to develop effective local partnerships with employers to bring the expertise, help and support where you need it most. If your company would like to partner with the National Centre for Computing Education, get in touch today by emailing us through our teachcomputing.org website. We've got so much planned for 2020, including more computing hubs, more face-to-face -face training opportunities, a suite of online training courses on top of the ones that we've already got, and new learning resources for our primary, secondary and A-level teachers to use directly in the classroom. And you don't even need to be a computing teacher to join us. We can help you learn the skills to be a great computing teacher with the support and resources available through the NCCE. There are five things teachers can do right now to start their journey with us. Create a login for the NCC website to access all of our resources, courses and other materials. You'll find that at teachcomputing.org. While you're there, watch the video of Simon Payton Jones talking enthusiastically about why we teach computing and how the National Centre can help. Subscribe to our new podcast and also make sure you read our Research Bytes newsletter. And then join Computing at School, also known as CAS, our free support network for computing teachers, both face-to-face -face in local communities of practice near you and also online. And finally, do follow us on Facebook or Twitter to be the first to get updates about the programme. It's key to remember that the National Centre, the NCCE, is here to support teachers in the classroom and hopefully reduce their workload and definitely increase their confidence as a computing teacher. At the NCCE, we all really care about computing education and the difference that it makes to children's lives. And we're super keen to hear from teachers directly and get their feedback about what we've been doing so far. Personally, I'm really looking forward to the next 12 months. So here's to a really successful 2020. <laughs>